Are we doing this? Am I? Am I really coming back? Really? I got a terrible idea here. Yo, guys! I. It's me, Saratsky. You know. No. All right. Well, anyways, uh, uh, here's the start of the famous, spectacular, fabulous YouTube channel Tao, which is the artistic universe where I and my girlfriend, wait, is not here right now, and my family, if, if they collaborate with me, uh, <laughs> where we, mostly I, m m mostly I, the protagonist, <laughs> Mostly I uh, show the world and its heart. And that could be many forms, like games, pictures, shows, a projection on a screen, digital device, whatever it is. We define art as something that someone else made from their heart. Oh, that rhymed. Nice. Well, anyways, uh... So today, your boy Saratsky is back after so long. I finally got the capture card working. I didn't know how the device worked, all right? It looked like a box. I thought I had to put it into something. I don't know. I was, I figured it out. I finally figured it out. And after many hair pulling days, stressful days of pulling my hair out, trying to get the capture card ready. Uh, I just I just looked it up on YouTube. I mean I mean that's what you do on your last minute, right? You just can't do it. You give up. Look on YouTube. There it is. Answer right there. Now that I figured out how to do it, I can finally set myself up for an actual let's play, which is where you play a game. But I'm not just going to be like those regular gamers that are just playing the game. What I'm trying to do is show a bigger message of what art is. When I play these games, I'm not going to just play them. I'm going to feel them. I'm going to experience them. I'm going to learn from them. And I'm going to try to teach you the messages. So, here we are. Uh, I, you can't see that right now. but uh, So here we are in my library of games. And uh, well, we got a lot here. We got we got a lot of fan favorites like Super Neptune RPG, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game. Uh, really good games. Really well crafted, done. Uh, but we are going to be playing uh, Saturday Morning RPG. I don't know what it is. It looked fun, right? That's 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 what you do when you buy a game. You, you see it, you watch the trailer, it's like it looks fun, buy it, and it's a failure. But uh, I have great faith in this game that it's going to be good some hope some tiny little bit of hope inside my heart that thinks it's going to be good so here we go on a saturday morning we're playing saturday morning rpg i thought it would only be pretty fitting and 100 percent satisfactory for a game to call saturday morning rpg and to do it on a saturday morning so here we are Let's start the game. Gotta play a Sarapsky, Sarap, and that guy. Uh, the other alias is my brother. We don't, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Alright. Imagine if it didn't take that much time. I think it needs to be louder. I, I think it needs to be louder. Just a little bit louder. But this does look uh, very interesting. Uh, that's good. All right, you got the Duke Nukem rock music coming in. They got like a that harp. Well, whatever it is, it, it does look interesting. Though. Like it looks like one of those VR games that you're about to play. Where you like sit in a room and then you play games. Wow, I'm doing that in VR right now. Well, anyways, here we are. Oh, it looks old. I don't know, I think this is 2016, 2008, 2010. I think it's pretty old. Okay, it's, it's a little bit loud. All right, let's turn it down. All right, so we got 2D pixelated characters. 
So now what I try to do is not only uh, read what's uh, the text, but I also try to act as the characters in the text. So I'm going to act as the announcer just to make it a lot more entertaining than your regular YouTube. All right, here we go. Commandly man, stop Commander Hood's heinous plans. Find out after these messages from our sponsors. YouTube. No. Oh, oh, that's cool. I like this. I like this whole thing. It's 3D scenery, and then it's got like 2D pixelated characters. That's that's cool. I like that. You're too late, Marty. Samantha, the one you love, will soon be mine. There's nothing you can do to stop me. You're wrong. I thought it was an anger video game there for a second there. I thought it was James Wall. It, it's, it's not. Uh, <laughs> You're wrong. You're a bad guy, and bad guys never win. Very simple, very simple. Sorry, I'll say it. Heart failure. Your hopeless confidence and optimism amuses me. But enough talk. How about you? How about you? Oh, oh, oh. RPG style? RPG style, here we go. So this game is supposed to be a bunch of different game styles. Like, uh, shoot em up. I don't know if it's Fight in style. Uh, 2D platformer. 3D platformer. Uh, I'm missing, like, all the good ones. Beat em up. RPG. RPG tournament. I think this is RPG turn-based. Hack and Slash, maybe. I don't know, but it's supposed to be a lot of those game... It's called genres? I think it's genre. Game genre. Game style. So, let's start with the best. Oh, I didn't know I had to do that. <laughs> My bad. Oh, man, we're gonna be... It's like, it's like when Dipper fought the, uh, the pixelated guy in Gravity Falls. I, I forgot what his name was. He looked like Ryu, you know? Uh, and then he, like, I remember he took all of his power all at once, and it uppercut the villain, and he, like, uh, he uppercut the villain up in the air, like, 15 feet at least, and, like, one tiny millimeter fell off the health meter of the, uh, the pixelated fight. Whatever it is. One millimeter, which is exactly what happened. Seriously? That's the best you've got? You're not even worth the time it would take to crush you myself. Hey! I'm the protagonist! You don't offend me like that! There's one thing you know! Or, I'm sorry, there's one thing you don't know! You never underestimate the protagonist. Uh, this is the best lesson. I have a wedding this way. I didn't know I was being disrupted with your wedding plans. Oh! Oh! Bad guys never win, though. You can't underestimate the protagonist. This is when the protagonist, after all has failed, has fought of his relationship with his friend, and creates a superpower inside his heart and beats the shit out of the villain. But I, 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 that's gonna happen. Trust me. Uh, what voice should I do for this guy? Bad guys never win. No, 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 that's my voice. Bad guys never win. What a joke. Get lost, nerd. Or we'll grind you into the dust again. Oh, that sounds really... You know what? I'm just gonna do my regular voice. Dude. I'm totally tripping. Yeah, that was so not cool. Should that be Marty's voice from now on? Oh boy. Why so? Ew! They schooled you. It's pretty funny because it looks like a kid. So, uh, but uh, let me see. Yeah, 
They schooled you. Of course, you were pretty dumb to take on Commander Hood unarmed. He's the baddest bad guy around. But he kidnapped Samantha and plans to make her marry him. Oh no, the damsel in distress. That cliche. I bet it's going to get better than that. I couldn't just stand there. You're going to take on Commander Hood. You're going to need some help. I am the wizard, and I am here to grant you an ancient power. You shall not pat my bat, not pat. I'm a wizard. Whoa, whoa, what the heck is? Keep it down, bro. My mom's gonna hear me. Doing this takes a lot of concentration. Take this artifact, Marty. It will give you the power you need to destroy Commander Hood and save Samantha. Uh, this is a notebook. Yes! A notebook of ancient power. With it, you can use items to find in the world as powerful weapons. Anything this notebook touches will be affected by its magic. How, how can this be possible? There's no such thing as a magical notebook. This ain't no realistic world. I mean, I'm standing on a fiery mountain right now that got kicked by a guy named Commander Hood. Fine. You don't have to believe me. See for yourself. Hey guys! Did you hear what this jerk? Did you hear what this jerk had to say about your mothers? <laughs> that panic shot was amazing though. <sighs> what? My mother was a saint! Hold on a minute. Ah, I didn't say anything. The wizard has double-crossed me and become the true antagonist. What the heck is going on here? Oh man, I'm gonna die. This is great though. I, I really like this game. Hey, there's a wizard. Crap, you use left stick to trap? What's happening? Oh, okay, so I'm using the L left stick. Is it scratch off slippers? As you can tell, this is no ordinary notebook. You take scratch-off stickers from it, and then you get a sweet aroma of fruits, chocolate, and I don't know. I, I forgot the other thing. As you can tell, this is no ordinary notebook. Those stickers you scratch give you powerful boost in battle. In addition, your notebook can store objects that can pummel enemies. The beat this guy by using those objects. Fiery fist. Level, level, level up. Level, level, level up. A fast, weak, multi-hit attack. Heals 25% of health. You need to stand with the attack with chance to paralyze into that. Wait, did, it, did I have to, was it like, wait? That was so awesome. That was beautiful. That was it's it's making me cry. So it's the it's the glove that Michael Jackson wore. That's funny. That's pretty funny. All right. That's pretty funny. High accuracy attack with mini game. Take disc a disc. Take this a disc. I like that. Uh, bar. Get destroyed by colored zebras, am I right? That's how you destroy the villains. Marty, dots, dots, dots. You knocked out my buddy. Time 
to die for the good of the hood. I've unlocked the full range of abilities held by your notebook, Marty. Now you're playing with true protagonist power. In addition to using objects to attack, you can generate power from batteries. That power builds up a charge that will boost the effect of those attacks. Charging uses up your magic power. Your magic, protagonist, unwinnable, overpowerful power. Magic can be restored through defending against attacks or punching enemies. You get supercharged battery, battery, and triple A battery, rapid press to charge. Super Saiyan! Ah, oh, turned away. That was my fault. All right, all right. Basketball. Bet you can't play me in a game. I'm like Michael Jordan, back in his prime. Let's go. All right, so you hold A. Cookie. 25% of the health. It's not worth it right now. That was a really bad move on my part. Maybe I might die later. You hold A when they're about to attack. I really love it. It's, it's amazing. Okay, then you can regular one. But you have to time it. They're like, okay, what? This is the health bar. That's bullshit! You can't do that on the first- Bogan! You can't do that on the first- Um, fight? I call bullshit. I call bullshit on my protagonist. What? <laughs> Gotta do the sound effects. It's better than you try. Alright, alright. This! Fear the disc! Wah! Fear my frisbee skills! You ever play Ultimate Frisbee before, bad guy? Wait, hold on. He's gonna shoot. Bogus! Bogus, bruh. Alright, alright. Let's really get into the game because I'm losing. Alright, alright. Here we go. Uh, no, no, no. Here was this. Radical events, bro. Oh, Alright. My bad. Alright. This should take him down. Boom! He got fully disintegrated by the mountains of fire. Or volcanic eruption. was radical! Told ya, but don't get cocky, kid. You're the protagonist, but... Oh my god. Is that the hacker glove? Wait, is that the power glove? Does he have the power glove? Nintendo power glove? It, it might be, I don't know. But it seems like he does. You still have to travel to the far side of Gaia if you want to rescue Samantha. That won't be easy. Commander Hood's goons, skillable. It's Skeletor. Is it off of Skeletor? I think it's off of Skeletor. And Maidalyn. I don't know what that was on. Or Weeded. They'll do anything they can to stop you. For plot reasons, of course. With this power, I feel ready. Oh, my bad. That's his voice. With this power, I feel ready to take on the world. I love this power. Too much of it. Got me thinking so crazy, and. I'm seeing mushrooms right It's so bad. <laughs> Main quest, search for Samantha. Okay, well, that was really good for our first video, right guys? So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it right there. This was really fun. I really like the game. Uh, all the references that got the Michael Jackson, all the different types of uh games. All the different types of genres, or sorry, franchises, uh, like He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, definitely off of Skeletor, Skeletor, 
Uh, I really like what he's wearing. A, a traditional regular nerd. With the glasses. But he ain't wearing glasses. We ain't gonna be that cliche. Especially not with the tape. Between the eyes. Definitely not. So, I think it was really fun, actually. Uh, I really like it. I really like the scratch, uh, the, the scratch sticker, base power element mechanism, whatever. I, I, I really like that. I really, I really like this game. It's creative. It's not boring, all right? It's, it's not cliche either. It's cliche, but to the point where it knows it's cliche and makes fun of it. That's what's good. All right, well, guys, uh, we will, I don't know how long this game is, but unlike my last YouTube channel, we will beat this game. I will not leave you on the hanging point. So, every Saturday morning, check out YouTube to a new Let's Play of Saturday Morning RPG. And for now, Seraxi would like to say, Asa luego. Wait, no, that's see you later. My bad. Asa la vista. I can't say baby because that would be copyright infringement. But uh, see you guys, Jaden Simon out.